Today we're doing an autofocus comparison between firmware version 2.6 and 2.5 for the GH5 from Panasonic. Let's do it. Welcome back folks, it's a shame. We're gonna to start today's test with some face tracking outdoors and then we'll also try some one area mode. Let's do it. So after this first clip, I've noticed a couple of different things. The firmware is still not perfect in face tracking mode. I chose a really busy location with lots of leaves and trees and all that kind of stuff behind me just to see how well it would work, especially if I was jumping out a shot. I wanted to see what we could get out of it. But I gotta tell you, once it actually gets face tracking locked on, you can move towards the camera, no problems at all, and it maintains focus. I also like the fact when I was just standing there like this, that it stayed in focus, it didn't do anything weird. And I, I gotta take my hat off to that. That's an improvement over some of the older firmware, but the 2.5 firmware was still doing that pretty well also. But as you walk away from the camera, that's where it seems to still struggle. I'm not sure what that is, but it's just one of those things. Unfortunately, still use one area mode. I think it's gonna work better.
As you can see from this clip, this looked awesome. And I think the 2.6 firmware is a little bit more responsive than the 2.5 in terms of one area autofocus. So if you like to use that like I do, and it's what I'm using right now, definitely upgrade to the 2.6 firmware. It seemed just to be that little bit more responsive in a couple of different sections, and it holds focus just so much more reliably. The only downside is you have to be over the box all of the time, and it was a little bit tough out there to line up both cameras and just sort of get them right, and then, you know, I just had to make sure I was over the box on both cameras. Not easy when you're on your own. So uh, yeah, this mode, way better and way more reliable. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching folks, this is Shane. So what do I think of the 2.6 firmware? Now, as I was sitting here just talking to the camera and as I'm sitting here talking to it right now, I trust it that it's gonna do a good job and not do anything too weird. Autofocus in one area mode is definitely the way to go if you're seated. It's also the way to go if you're filming someone else outside. Put the box on them, you're not gonna have any problems there either. And it seems to be more reliable as you're walking to and from the camera than face tracking mode. But face tracking mode is starting to work better sometimes. If you turn off sideways, it seems like 2.5 firmware got a little bit lost, whereas the 2.6 was just that little bit more reliable. And I don't think it actually probably even had the box on my face. It was just, it locked focus and it stayed there, which was pretty cool. It's still not perfect. The GH5, that's probably the biggest criticism is the autofocus, but there's so many positives and you can work around it. If you're behind the camera, you can use touch to focus, manual focus, one area mode, and then touch to focus as well. So there's lots of options if you're behind the camera. If you're in front of it like this, one area mode is the easiest, or download the app and just set up manual focus and you'll be good. The only limitation of that is you can't just then hold something up to the screen, have it shift focus. So one area mode for me is the best for what I do. And I don't get really any complaints, <laughs> complaints on my videos. I've uploaded over 2,500 videos on my other channel and I've never had someone say, oh man, the, the focus is pulsing. So for what I do, it's fine. If you're a you know wedding photographer or, or videographer, you might need uh, like a Sony or something like that that does have way better sort of trackable focus in video mode. I think that that would be the go if someone's sort of like walking down the aisle, you probably don't want to use a GH5. But one area mode will get you through a lot of different situations. I actually film one of Australia's top bodybuilders or the best guy in Australia actually. And I use one area mode when I film him walking around. It's very, very reliable. So that's just a little bit of food for thought. I'm yet to try 2.6 out in the real world, but for this test, Hopefully it was helpful. So thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.